after wave nature of electromagnetic radiations our today's topic is particle nature of electromagnetic radiations and planck's quantum theory from your plus 1 chemistry book chapter structure of atom let's discuss particle nature of electromagnetic radiations and planck's quantum theory electromagnetic wave theory believed in continuous generation of energy it could not explain the phenomena such as black body radiation and photoelectric effect so students first of all let's discuss black body radiation an ideal black body is a perfect absorber and perfect emitter thus an ideal body which emits and absorbs radiations of all wavelengths or frequencies is called black body and the radiations emitted by this body is called black body radiations for example a hollow sphere blackened from inside and having a pin hole any radiation that enters through the small hole is reflected repeatedly until total energy is absorbed after black body radiations let's discuss photoelectric effect it was given by h hertz in 1887 it is the phenomena of ejection of electrons from the surface of a metal when a light of suitable frequency strikes or falls on it the emitted electrons are called photoelectrons the apparatus consists of an evacuated chamber which contains two electrodes connected to an external circuit the metal that exhibits the photoelectric effect is made negative electrode when light of sufficient high energy strikes the metal the electrons are ejected from its surface and moves towards the positive electrode only few metals such as cesium rubidium or potassium in which the electrons are loosely held by the nucleus show this effect when visible light falls on them the main observations of this experiment are first is for every metal certain minimum frequency of light is required for ejection of electrons this is known as threshold frequency represented by nu naught light of frequency lower than threshold frequency cannot eject electrons ਇਸ ਦਾ ਮਤਲਬ ਇਹ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਮੈਟਲ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚੋਂ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਨੂੰ ਇਜੈਕਟ ਕਰਵਾਉਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਘੱਟੋ ਘੱਟ ਐਨ ਫ੍ਰੀਕੁਐਂਸੀ ਜਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਥ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਹੋਲਡ ਫ੍ਰੀਕੁਐਂਸੀ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਉਸ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਰੂਰਤ ਪੈਂਦੀ ਹੈ ਜੇਕਰ ਇਨਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਰੇਡੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਦੀ ਫ੍ਰੀਕੁਐਂਸੀ ਥ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਹੋਲਡ ਫ੍ਰੀਕੁਐਂਸੀ ਦੇ ਬਰਾਬਰ ਜਾਂ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਵੱਧ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਵੇਗੀ ਤਾਂ ਉਸ ਮੈਟਲ ਦੀ ਸਰਫੇਸ ਤੋਂ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਇਜੈਕਟ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਇਹ ਥ੍ਰੈਸ਼ਹੋਲਡ ਫ੍ਰੀਕੁਐਂਸੀ ਅਲੱਗ-ਅਲੱਗ ਮੈਟਲਸ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਅਲੱਗ-ਅਲੱਗ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਆਬਜ਼ਰਵੇਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਕਾਇਨੈਟਿਕ એનર્ਜੀ ਆਫ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਇਜ਼ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਲੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਪੋਰਸ਼ਨਲ ਟੂ ਦ ਫ੍ਰੀਕੁਐਂਸੀ ਆਫ ਦ ਇਨਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਰੇਡੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਡੀਪੈਂਡੈਂਟ ਆਫ ਇਟਸ ਇੰਟੈਂਸਿਟੀ ਥਰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਨੰਬਰ ਆਫ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਇਜੈਕਟਡ ਪਰ ਸੈਕੰਡ from the metal surface depends upon the intensity or brightness of incident radiation so bachcho jehde electrons metal surface to nikalde han unna di kinetic energy incident light or incident radiation di frequency de directly proportional hundi jinni frequency zyada hovegi ਉਨੀ ਹੀ ਕਾਇਨੈਟਿਕ એનર્ਜੀ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋਏਗੀ 
ਜਿਹੜੇ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਇਜੈਕਟ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਹਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਨੰਬਰ ਇੰਟੈਂਸਿਟੀ ਆਫ ਇਨਸੀਡੈਂਟ ਰੇਡੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਦੇ ਉੱਪਰ ਡਿਪੈਂਡ ਕਰਦਾ ਹੈ ਜਿੰਨੀ ਇੰਟੈਂਸਿਟੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋਏਗੀ ਉਨੇ ਹੀ ਨੰਬਰ ਆਫ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਇਜੈਕਟਡ ਵੱਧ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਦ ਵੇਰੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਕਾਈਨੈਟਿਕ એનર્ਜੀ ਆਫ ਫੋਟੋ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਵਿਦ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਵੈਂਸੀ ਆਫ ਐਬਜ਼ੋਰਬਡ ਫੋਟੋਨਸ ਇਜ਼ ਸ਼ੋਨ ਬਾਈ ਗ੍ਰਾਫਸ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਕਲੀਅਰ ਫਰਮ ਗ੍ਰਾਫ A ਦੈਟ ਫਾਰ ਇਜੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਦ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਵੈਂਸੀ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਟ ਨਿਊ ਯੂਜ਼ਡ ਮਸਟ ਬੀ ਗ੍ਰੇਟਰ ਥੈਨ ਥ੍ਰੈਸ਼ੋਲਡ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਵੈਂਸੀ ਨਿਊ ਨਾਟ and the rest frequency is used up to increase the kinetic energy of the ejected electron however the kinetic energy remains constant with the change in intensity as shown by graph b so it means that if we increase the intensity of light there will be no change in the kinetic energy of ejected electrons so our next topic is planck's quantum theory of radiation max planck in 1901 gave a theory known as quantum theory of radiation the main features of this theory are first is energy is not emitted or absorbed continuously but discontinuously in the form of small packets of energy called quanta in case of light it is called photon bachcho max planck ne eh gal kahi ke jehdi energy suraj to sade tak aandi hai oh energy continuously nahi aa rahi oh sade tak discontinuously pahunchdi hai in the form of small packets ਜਿਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਕੁਆਂਟਾ ਕਹਿ ਦਿੰਨੇ ਹਾਂ ਲਾਈਟ ਦੇ ਕੇਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਉਸ ਨੂੰ ਅਸੀਂ ਫੋਟੋਨ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂ ਸੈਕੰਡ ਇਜ਼ એનર્ਜੀ ਐਸੋਸੀਏਟਿਡ ਵਿਦ ਵਨ ਕੁਆਂਟਮ ਆਫ ਰੇਡੀਏਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੋਪੋਰਸ਼ਨਲ ਟੂ ਦ ਫ੍ਰੀਕਵੈਂਸੀ ਆਫ ਲਾਈਟ ਸੋ E ਇਜ਼ ਪ੍ਰੋਪੋਰਸ਼ਨਲ ਟੂ ਨਿਊ ਔਰ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਸੇ E ਇਜ਼ ਇਕੁਅਲ ਟੂ H ਨਿਊ let it be equation number 1 here h is the proportionality constant known as planck's constant and its value is 6.626 into 10 to the power minus 34 joule seconds third feature is the total amount of energy will be the whole number multiple of the quantum that is e is equal to n h new where n is an integer having value 1 2 3 and so on as we know new is equal to c upon lambda by putting this value in equation number second we get e is equal to n h c upon lambda so if the number of photons n is n a that is avogadro number or one mole of photons then the energy is called one einstein of energy our next topic is explanation of photoelectric effect using quantum theory according to einstein when a photon strikes a metal surface some of its energy is used up to eject the electron from the metal atom this means that a certain minimum amount of energy corresponding to the binding energy is necessary to de- detach the electron from the metal thus when a photon of energy h nu strikes a metal surface some of its energy called threshold energy x or we can say work function is used up to remove the electron from the surface 
and the remaining energy is given to the ejected electron in the form of kinetic energy. This may be expressed as energy of striking photon is equal to binding energy plus kinetic energy of ejected electron. As nu naught is the threshold frequency, thus minimum energy required to eject electron is equal to h nu naught or it is called work function x. It is the characteristic of a particular metal. Therefore, h nu is equal to x plus half mv square or h nu is equal to h nu naught plus half mv square because x is equal to h nu naught or we can say kinetic energy is equal to h nu minus h nu naught by taking the Planck's constant common we have kinetic energy is equal to h nu minus nu naught Students, here nu is the frequency of incident radiation and nu naught is the threshold frequency. So two cases may arise. First is if the frequency of incident radiation is less than threshold frequency nu naught, then no ejection of electrons take place. And in second case, if the frequency of incident radiation is greater than threshold frequency nu naught, then electrons are ejected and the extra energy is changed to kinetic energy of ejected electrons. So students, after all this discussion, it was concluded that light has been regarded as waves to explain the phenomena of reflection, refraction, diffraction, etc. However, in order to explain the black body radiation and photoelectric effect, Einstein regarded the light as tiny particles called photons. In other words, light behaves like waves as well as like particles. Such a wave-like and particle-like nature of radiations is known as dual nature of radiation. Students, let's discuss some numerical problems related to the relation given by Planck's quantum theory of radiation. So first is, calculate the energy of one mole of photons of radiations whose frequency is 5 into 10 raised to the power 14 hertz. So here the frequency is given which is represented by nu 5 into 10 raised to the power 14 hertz or second inverse. As we know Planck's constant h is equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule second. And for one mole of or Avogadro number of photons the energy relation becomes E is equal to NaH nu where Na is the Avogadro number. So let's put their respective values. Na is 6.022 into 10 raised to the power 23 into 6.626 into 10 raised to the power minus 34 joule second into 5 into 10 raised to the power 14 second inverse which comes out to be 199.51 into 10 raised to the power 3 joule per mole or we can say 199.51 kilojoule per mole. Second numerical is a 25 watt bulb emits monochromatic yellow light of wavelength 0.57 micrometer. Calculate the rate of emission of quanta per second. So here wavelength of radiation is given lambda is equal to 0.57 micrometer or we can say 0 0.57 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter and velocity of light c is 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second 
Planck's constant h is equal to 6.626 into 10 raised to the minus 34 joule second. So here, energy of one photon E is equal to h nu. By putting the value of nu, the relation becomes h c upon lambda. So put their respective values 6.626 into 10 raised to the minus 34 joule second into 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second that is the velocity of light divided by wavelength 0 0.57 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 meter. This comes out to be 3.487 into 10 raised to the power minus 19 joule. Now 25 watt means bulb emits 25 joule of energy per second. Therefore number of photons emitted per second is equal to 25 divided by 3.487 into 10 raised to the power minus 19. This comes out to be 7.17 into 10 raised to the power 19 photons per second. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon for further updates. Thanks for watching.